Hi, I'm Ed Spurling. I'm the Editor-in-Chief at Semiconductor Engineering. I'm here with Pedro Perez of Cleosoft. He's going to talk today about managing IP in a complex design. Pedro, as we get into complex designs, you have a lot of different IP in there. What sort of problems does that cause? Well, one of the typical problems is that uh, you have you are using the IP in several locations in your project. This depends on the complexity of your project, but you want to make sure that you're consistently reusing the IP the same way, which means reusing the IP, uh, the same version of that IP uh, as it is being reused throughout your project. Where do people typically go wrong with that? Well, you know, as, as the complexity of the, pro of the, of the project grows, uh, you might find it, find it more error prone where you, or you're using your IP several times in different locations in your project. It might happen that you're using a slightly different version of the same IP, and this can uh, mean very costly mistakes down the road. Why don't you draw this out for us? Sure. Pedro, what are we looking at here? All right, so you, well, you essentially want to save time uh, in your engineers. So if work has already been done, you want to make sure that you reuse the work that has already been done. So. SOS helps you with that by leveraging on a feature which is what we call references that basically allow you to reuse the work that has already been done, for example, by other teams in other projects in your own project. Now, the problem with that is that as the complexity of the project grows, you might feel the need to reuse the same block in different locations at the same time. So when that happens, you want to make sure, for example, that if you're using your uh, IP here and if you're using your IP here, you want to make sure that you are using, in the two places, the same version of that IP that you're using. Otherwise, this might mean uh, that you're leading into very costly mistakes down the road. So SO helps, SOS helps you with that uh, by providing a mechanism that allows you to, well, first of all, keep a bird's eye view of all the reuse operations that you have in your project. And at the same time, it makes sure that the reference to the same object is instantiating the same version of that IP. So what it does here is it produces a report that uh, lists all the references that you have in your project and it flags all those in which you're instantiating the same object with different versions. So one of the problems that we've been seeing in the market is that there's a lot more customized silicon being developed these days. Uh, big companies are developing things that are, are optimized for performance or power. IP is not necessarily being used the same way in each one of these, right? Yeah, that is correct, and uh, as and it it stands to reason that it's very very important that you have a mechanism that allows you to at least keep track of where these IPs are being reutilized and all these uh, places where the IP is being reused. So, besides the feature which allows you to keep track of whether your IP is being referenced the same way in different locations, you also have this very nice report that lists uh, very exhaustively all the IPs that you're using which you can sort and look for the IPs that are being currently reused and make sure that everything is properly instantiated in your project. What happens when you have an IP that's being used in a couple different places and you're not aware that it's being used in both of those designs? Well, the first thing that might happen is that uh, the IP might be reusing, as we mentioned before, in, the, in different versions of that particular IP. So, First of all, this, uh, this feature will allow you to spot where the IP is, is being utilized, which immediately allows you to detect perhaps uh, a reference of that IP that you are not aware of. And then if that reference is not consistent, if, it, uh, if it's not referencing the same version of that IP, you will know right away from this feature. Does it ever happen where you have a design that's out in the marketplace and then somebody makes a change, updates that, and the IP actually changes? Yes, that is true. Uh, and that is facilitated by the fact that we're using SOS references because SOS references will allow you to decide whether or not uh, as these changes come to your IPs, these changes are pushed into the locations where uh, that IP is being reused. If you choose to do so, as new versions of that IP are being created, those changes are automatically pushed and they are pushed to all the places where that IP is being reused, thus keeping your project up to date and consistent throughout. If you have a design and you have IP that is used differently from in terms of more use in one design versus another, does that impact what is actually acceptable to use? Uh, it depends on the IP. So in fact, some IPs, uh, that is indeed a very relevant metric. You want to keep track of where and how much that IP is being utilized. And you can also leverage on this feature because it tells you exactly how many instantiations of that IP are being uh, happening at the moment.
And this gets more complicated as designs are, are run across different regions of the world too, right? Because you think about a cell phone in one country, it may run at a different frequency than in another country. Well, indeed, and that's why it's very important that you want to make sure that you're using the, the reference of the, to these IPs, exactly the same version across all the different locations in your project. Do the different IP versions, do they affect how much power it's drawing, how much, how, what the performance would be, and is all that characterized within what you're keeping track of? Yes, indeed. So you can keep track of this uh, as attributes within your IP, or you can also uh, define different branches of development where you keep these different implementations of the same IP kept in parallel. And then, again, this feature uh, makes sure that you are using the correct implementation throughout your project and you're consistently reusing the same uh, branch for this particular IP. What happens when a company is acquired? What happens to the IP? Is it still the same licensing scheme or does that change and do you have to update that as you go as well? Well, these communications between the different projects are, uh, let's, let's call them, they are live communication. So even if the policy around that IP changes, you have the ability to either cut it off or just keep it active. Uh, you know, it really depends on whether or not that changes, but that change will happen outside SOS. Another key consideration in this is where the IP is within its life cycle, right? Because sometimes the company that develops that IP may no longer support a particular type of IP or a particular IP itself. Yeah, that is in, in fact important. And you want to make sure that the types of references that you are utilizing are uh, the correct type of references. So you might want to refer to a specific frozen version of that particular IP, in which case if the IP goes out it, it doesn't matter because you want to refer to an old frozen version of that IP, but if you're using a dynamic reference, in which case uh, it will be important to understand whether uh, that IP is already out of, the, of its life cycle and perhaps change the IP that you're utilizing. That also brings up another problem, which is that as IP and as products are out in the marketplace for longer, you think about an automotive design, for example, that's supposed to last for 20 years versus a cell phone, which may last for a couple of years. Yeah, that is true. But it, it also, it's, it is important then that you keep, uh, that you want to make sure that you first uh, keep your IP available and accessible. So that's, uh, that's uh, enforced by the ability of SOS to keep track of data uh, as, you, as you want it. But, you know, that raises another important uh, aspect, which is one of traceability. So you want to keep traceability at all times of where your IPs are coming from, exactly which version of the IP you're utilizing, and where that IP is being utilized. So again, I will refer to this feature that will allow you to keep a very thorough view of how your IPs are being utilized throughout your project. Some of this IP can be updated as you go along too, right? And you need to keep track of exactly what version of that IP you have in there. Yes, that is correct. And you have the ability to automatically incorporate these updates in your project, or you can decide whether uh, to focus on a specific version of that IP, in which case, even if the IP updates, uh, you will not get these changes. But regardless of which implementation of these references you are utilizing, you have the complete information about what's happening with your IP. And you know, even if you're not using an up-to-date version, you will know that by the reports that SOS is able to generate. Pedro Perez, thanks for a great explanation. It was my pleasure.